Okay, so what we're going to do now is just going to finish it off by just checking out the walk cycles um, graph editor. So I'm just going to look at some of these bones here. Let's make this sure this is view x-ray so you can see what's going on. And so it's the, exactly the same for the hands. Just look at the keyframes for the graph editor. Check them out for the each bone and just see if there's a kink in the loop on any of the motions. Right now we're looking at the heel, control heel. You can see it bends down to there, goes through to there. Doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of a bow there where it flexes down, and that could be on the translation of the Z or the translation or the rotate of the Z. And you can actually just go in, hit the BCA curse, hit W just to mo move it, just that affects that. And you see this one here, got a really funny angle on that one, so what we can do is just rotate that one to flatten it out so it's a smoother animation. And you can if we go back to the first ones, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to just flatten out the animation so that they make sense. Just pull that one there. Just hit play there. And you see it can look a bit static. It's so sorry, pan this around. With two stuff, I'm just going to Alt Z that one. See that when it kicks to that frame, to that frame. You can just check it by clicking the first, the last frame, just to see how they look. And it's slightly pausing, so what I'm going to do. Go to frame 30. I'm just going to translate it backwards slightly just to give it somewhere to go. There we go, it's a little bit better. Okay. And you just have to keep on finessing these these the function curves and the animations. So I just switch off there. To allow you to get the walk as smooth as you possibly can. So, what I'm going to do now is I just want to add some kind of motion to the hips. So, what I'm going to do is try and address the the movement, the up and down movement that happens when we walk. If I select that hit, that controller, I'm just going to see if it. No, it doesn't affect that. So this controller is probably its orientation, there you go. It affects the twist. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at how she walks and give her a slight twist. So if I say go to the frame 15, when the leg is down on that one, I'm just going to give it a twist on the... on that angle I should undo that one, I'm going to put that one, in fact let's do a up and down motion first because I can do the twist as secondary so if I go to frame Ten. I'm just going to hit W and just going to bring that down slightly, and just to undo that, so you can see what's going on. So if I move that down slightly, 
There we go. I'm going to go to frame. I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring that one back to where it was at 20 hit save key oops actually in the wrong place save, oops, save key select that again so it's Going down, then up, up, and, and frame 10 is going to be keyframe key to frame 30. And if I hit play, oops, it's not quite there. So it's gonna come on. So it's fighting me a bit there, so. So, so what I can do is actually should be okay. So if I put the down, so if I put uh, frame, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do shift frame ten. And I'm just going to drag frame ten to frame five. Oh, come on. And then frame one. I'm going to say middle mouse to frame ten. Hit save. Then frame five. Middle mouse to frame fifteen. Hit save. A little bit bobbing up and down. It's going down. Up. So I might have to take out that keyframe. Let's just delete that keyframe. Frame five. I'm gonna just middle mouse to frame twenty. Hit save keyframe. So let's try this so down. And then. So if anything, frame 10 needs to be somewhere between frame 5 and frame 20. I'm going to say it's going to be around, just do shift, mid and mouse. It could be around frame 12, 12 to 13. And if you drag through, Say shift frame twenty to rep frame twenty five. And frame one to frame thirty is just hit play. See how that looks. Yes, it's still not quite there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, hit space bar and go to side view. Just try and lock it down a little bit more. Just slightly out so it's going to be frame frame 1 to frame. Should be frame but 10. So, okay, so we can go shift frame 5 to frame. Ten. And you want, in fact, let's delete this frame, frame thirteen. 
So delete and ten. And frame and twenty. I'm just going to move it one to frame one to frame twenty. Hit save. I'm going to say frame 20 there. I'm going to say frame 5 is the same. Frame 26. So it's slightly out of, slightly out of sync. It just needs a little bit of work. And we can, if we hit spacebar now, we can just go into keyframe on the graph editor and just play with that. So it's just a question of scaling those out. So I think if I hit that one, hit W, I'm just gonna move that one. To about frame fifteen, frame ten, and to about frame eight, hit play. It's better. Okay, and just I'm just gonna maximize that for you so you can see what's going on. Okay, so it's now just a question of cleanup. So it's just trying to lock the feet down. So so this is where you'd actually be looking at your animation now just trying to make sure that at frame 10 the animation is locked down frame 25 the feet are as nailed to the ground as much as possible there we go and I'm going to hit spacebar, hit perspective view on the top. I'm going to then do a, say, a file save. Uh, 